uh, main studies program of Krishna sir last years, and I have also been a member of uh, Krishna sir's Telegram channel. In that channel, we could view answer copies of other topics as well as solutions for some of the tests that were conducted. So all of it has helped me to enrich my content as well as we could have an opportunity to compare our answer paper with that of other topers and we could see how better they have presented the answers compared to that of us. So finally, what I have to tell is uh, the revising our content as well as practicing more test series, it is the key of securing a good mark in the optional exam of either civil service or forest service. Hi all, I am Devi Priya Ajit. I have secured all India rank 51 in the 2021 Indian Forest Service exam conducted by UPSC. In this video, I am going to tell about some of the strategies that I have adopted to secure a good rank in the exam. So last year in 2021, I have written both civil service mains as well as forest service mains with agriculture optional. In civil service mains, I have got 246 marks out of 500, that is around 49%. And in forest service exam, I have got 256 marks out of 400, that is around 62%. So, I am going to tell about some of the tips that I have used to increase my score up to this margin. So, first of all, let us talk about how to manage the time in the exam board. So, for civil service mains, uh, we have 3 hours time, but we have to write for 250 marks in agriculture optional. But in case of forest service mains, in the time period of 3 hours, we have to write only for 200 marks. So, for forest service optional, we get more time for writing our answers. So, what I usually do is that, I will take 5 minutes time to select the questions because we have some optional questions in the paper. So for the rest of the 175 minutes, I will divide it into 5 sections of 35 minutes each. So in the 5 minutes, I will decide which all optional questions I should write and in the rest of the 35 minutes, I will take that time to write 50 marks question in the case of civil service exam and 40 marks question in the case of forest service exam. We should always strictly adhere to the time limit because otherwise we may lose the chance of writing answer for a question that we know well. So the next thing I want to talk about is regarding how to write a good answer in agriculture optional. So like a GS answer, in the optional two, we have to begin with an introduction, next a body part and a conclusion. So regarding writing an introduction, in case of technical subjects like genetics, physiology, plant breeding, soil science and all, it is good to begin our introduction with the definition of the topic that is asked. For example, soil fertility or pedigree selection, etc. You should mention or define what is it. So the, such an introduction, it would suffice. But in case of a a uh, generalist question based on a government scheme or agricultural extension, economics, food security, etc. It is good to begin the introduction with a statistics or data. So next thing, let us come to the body part of the answer. So in this body, we need to give the content based on the mark distribution of the question. And in the body part, it is important to divide our answer into different subheadings because subheadings makes the job of the evaluator very easy to identify the points in our answer and also we should try to include maximum diagrams as possible and in case of technical answers it is very important to have diagrams in our answer and in case of a 10 marker question we should give at least 6 to 7 subheadings or points and in case of a 15 mark or 20 mark question we should give at least 12 to 13 points because the marks will come based on the number of points and the based on the relevant points that we have included in our answer. So next, coming to the conclusion, in case of a generalist question, uh, we could add some way forward or long term or short term measures or suggestions or recommendations in our conclusion. 
for for such a generalist question in extension economics or food security etc or even in case of agronomy it is better to have a four to five sentences in the conclusion but in case of a technical question like physiology genetics seed technology or plant breeding etc the need of conclusion is only one to two sentences just concluding what we have written so lastly we could speak about how to prepare for this exam so for the exam preparation we should be focused to both test series as well as the content preparation and regarding test series it is one of the most important part of our exam because it will train us how to put our points and how to present our answers in a distinct and attractive manner to the evaluators compared to other candidates and also we practice time management while we attend the test series and this is regarding the content preparation so my personal experience is that if we refer too many books and too many website for the content preparation we may lose lot of time for that instead if we refer synopsis or already prepared notes as krishna sir is providing it will save a lot of time as well as we could focus more on revision and we could gain that time for note preparation and we could allocate it for more revision and this will also help us in increasing our score